Hi, I'm Karen Bomber, and today we're going to break down the basics of Smart Lock. Smart Lock is Enview's newest product category, but before I get started, I want to talk about our IR ecosystem. The IR ecosystem is the foundation of all of our Enview devices working together. This unique IR2 key is the foundation of that ecosystem. There's several lights in this key, and the key has a power and a unique code. But the key doesn't work only by itself. We have a charger. The charger can hold up to four keys at one time. The unique code is assigned to the key when you place it in our programming station and press a button. And if you notice, that red circle moved to a blue circle. And that blue circle means that key is uniquely coded to that store or even down to that department. This key can be used to disable every InView device, whether it be on our electronic phones, in our pods, for our accessories and our zips, or the smart lock. Now let's go look at the different lock styles that we have to cover just about every type of fixture. So now let's talk about the different styles of smart lock. We offer seven different locks to go across three main categories of cabinets. The three main categories are doors that slide back and forth, bypass sliding doors. We also have locks for doors that swing open, either a double door or a single door. And they're fixtures that have drawers that pull out. Now for those doors that slide back and forth, on a glass sliding door that has no holes in it, we have the universal lock and the universal two lock. For doors that slide back and forth and have a pre-drilled hole, as in a large gaming cabinet, we offer the plunger three lock. And for the popular style doors, which are glass doors that slide back and forth and have a metal frame around them, we offer the plunger two lock. Now that plunger too will also work on doors that slide back and forth that are wood or metal. Now for doors that swing open, we offer two lock styles. For a glass door that swings open, we offer the showcase lock. And for the showcase lock, you can have a single or a double door that swings open and we have an option for both. And for doors that swing open that are made of either wood metal, or glass, you can use a cam lock. The other unique thing about that cam lock, it can also be used on drawers that pull out. And then we also offer a specific drawer lock. That was a direct replacement where an existing mechanical drawer lock fits. Now all of our locks are offered in both white and black, and as you've seen, we have demonstrations of both. Let's review the different lock states. We have a lock, and an unlock status, and an error status. And unlike mechanical locks, where you can't tell if a lock is open or closed, we actually have a visual indicator. And there's audio feedback from the IR2 key. What we have here is a showcase lock that is locked. We're going to demonstrate here, but the same technology is in all smart locks. The locked position is indicated by the black eye. To unlock it, you simply press the IR2 key. You have that confirmation beep, and the lock is now white. White indicates open. To relock the cabinet, you simply put the lock back into place. You touch the key again. You wait for that confirmation beep from the key, and now it's locked. Now we all know in our daily lives, it's not a perfect operation. So let's see what type of feedback we get if we make a mistake and don't close the cabinet all the way. First, I unlock. I service the customer. 
by providing the correct item that they want. I close the cabinet and I go to lock it. And as we just see, it appears that the cabinet is closed, but in reality, we haven't shut the door all the way. So you have a visual indicator of an error message. This is a mix of both the white and the black marks. Additionally, from the key, you heard an error beat versus that confirmation beat. These two elements together provide the audio and visual feedback that you need to go back and relock the cabinet. To relock the cabinet, you have to first touch the key and make it unlocked so then it, it goes back in the correct position and you simply lock it with the confirmation key. All of our demonstrations so far have been with the IR2 key. This is the key that holds a unique code. We also offer another IR2 key. It makes a sound. We call it the IR2 sounder key. The only physical difference when looking at the key is the sounder key has a gray button. Now the sounder key was designed to remind sales associates to go back and lock the cabinets after they've serviced the customer. If you don't lock the cabinet, the sounder key will continue to make an audible feedback that lasts 120 seconds. The only way to get the sound to stop is to take it back to the original lock or to take it to the programming station. So you can only open one cabinet at a time with the sounder key. Now I'm going to demonstrate, but keep in mind that the sounder key will alarm at 92 decibels. I heard the confirmation beep, and now I hear this chirp. The cabinet is open, and I can make it stop by relocking. Now, if I go and try to open both cabinets with the same key, let's see what happens. The first cabinet's open, and now I try to open the second. And I get an error message, and it starts to beep again. So in order to open the second cabinet, I need to relock the first. And now I can open the second. Start to beep again. Both the IR2 key and the IR2 sounder key have the same technology, and it's up to the retailer to decide which key they prefer. Those who use the IR2 sounder key are those retailers who like to close the cabinet immediately after removing the merchandise. If you like to leave your cabinet open while servicing your customer, then the IR2 key. So there are three things I want to mention about the smart lock from a technical performance standpoint. First, the smart lock is as strong as all traditional mechanical locks. The extra added layer of security comes from our IR2 key in the unique program. Second, there's no battery in the lock. All the battery is in the key, and the energy is transferred when the key touches the lock and enables the movement. And third, there's no sound that comes out of the lock. All the audio feedback you get is from the key. I think you can appreciate the value of this solution. It looks great, it's easy to install, it's easy to use, and retailers around the world are discovering that it's more than just a lock solution, it's a security solution that is enabling associate productivity.